Today, the unfortunate question that we have to ask ourselves is if reality TV singing competitions are even worth a damn. Because producers for one of those shows thought it would be a good idea to pass up on freaking Luke Combs. The funny thing is, is the show that made that crazy decision was The Voice. Shit, if there's one thing the man's got, it's a voice. You would think that is the whole point of the show, but no. They also apparently look for contestants who are what they consider interesting. Alright, so how did all of this go down for Luke? Well, a while ago, in an interview with Whiskey Riff back in 2016, Luke said, I was on spring break a few years ago when The Voice was having auditions in Atlanta, Georgia. In my audition round, I was the only guy and you get about 30 seconds to sing. I made it to the next round that was at a studio and then made it to the next cut. They had four audition cities and narrowed it from about 10,000 to 2,000 people. Then you don't know if you made it to the show for a few months. I made it through those rounds with the producers, but I got a letter saying I wasn't interesting enough for the show's ratings, so I didn't get to the show. But it gave me a lot of confidence because I was good enough voice-wise to make it through all those producer auditions. Pretty funny how things work out, because Luke is sitting on top of the country music world right now. And he just had his newest album, What You See Is What You Get, go number one on all genres. And even though I'm leaving, just became his seventh consecutive number one single. Good God, man. All I gotta say is, I feel sorry for the person that had to send Luke his walking letter for The Voice. Fans and music just want artists that we can relate to, and that is what Luke gives us, plus outstanding music. Too bad The Voice didn't find that trait about him interesting. Blake Shelton, do us all a favor and get your folks. <laughs> Guys, that will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.